Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 201 video. And today we are back in X Plane, as you can see right here. We are at Nice Airport, which is in the south of France. And that is because we're gonna talk about a French airplane today. Today we're gonna talk about the Dassault Mercure, or however you want to pronounce it. I'm just gonna pronounce it Mercure or something. It doesn't even matter. Now we have spawned into an earlier version of the A320. Just kidding! This is actually the Dassault Mercure. Now now, um, we're gonna talk about how this plane came to be and its failure as a commercial airliner and stuff like that. Now, let's talk about its manufacturer first. The manufacturer of this aircraft is Dassault, which is actually a French aircraft manufacturer. A few people should have already heard about it. It's been around for almost like a hundred years or so. It's, it's pretty old as well. Now, Dassault makes like the iconic private jets, like the Dassault Falcons and stuff like that. These are awesome. They also make fighter jets, but they also tried their hands on making airliners, and the result was this, the Dassault Mercure. Now, this plane was introduced in 1974 with Air Inter, which used to be a French airline. Now, this pretty much looks like a mix out of the 737 and the A320. Like, this is so weird. <laughs> like, this is quite terrifying, isn't it? Now, this plane is not very well known. Actually, a few people asked me to make a video about this plane, and when I read the name of this plane in the comments, I didn't even know it. Like, honestly, I, I was like, what the frick is a Dassault Mercure? Yeah, this plane was indeed a failure. Only 12 numbers were built. And two of these, and two of these were actually prototypes. Yeah. And yeah, there is no flying Mercure around anymore. The last Mercure was retired in 1995. So this is quite dead. Now, let's just take off, shall we? Now, yes, as I've already said, this plane is considered a failure. A massive a failure, actually. And you may wonder why. I mean, actually, this plane was pretty efficient and economical for that time. Also, this plane could fit, like, more passengers than the 737s could for around that time. So, yeah, doesn't sound bad, does it? The problem about this plane is actually, well, its range. Now, this plane could only fly for 1,700 kilometers. And to translate that, that is only 1,000 nautical miles. Miles, which is uh, even less than the Q400s, isn't it? You know, you're not gonna have Project Sunrise with this plane. Now, you might ask, well, 1,700 kilometers of range doesn't even sound that bad. I mean, I mean, it's definitely enough to get around Europe. Which is definitely true. Yeah, we crashed. But this airplane was built for the American market of aviation. And the problem is America is way bigger than Europe. And America is so big that even 1,000 kilometers is not enough. This plane was really limited. Yeah, this was really just a short, short, short haul aircraft. Because obviously you're not gonna use the full 1,700 kilometers of range. Which obviously kind of led to the commercial unsuccess of this plane. And yeah, only few aircraft found interest in this aircraft. Aircraft, aircraft, like air Air Inter, which was only offering very domestic flights. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Air Inter is also dead. It merged with Air France, as far as I remember. Now, um, yeah, guys, this plane sucked. So, can we go home or something? You know, as a short-haul aircraft, it should be able to take off at St. Bartholomew. Yeah, and that was a successful takeoff. That went really well, actually. Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a pro pilot. Landing gear. Land. Sink right. Well, yeah, landing doesn't work too well. Oh, what the hell? So, um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Yeah, I'm sorry for this kind of short video, but it's Christmas. It's the 25th of December. I do not want to work.